Kardashian says I receive my smoothies are great. All right, I, I can buy that. But are they really? I mean, really? I never thought I'd be talking about the Kardashians on my channel. What is CMOS? Now there are actually thousands of different varietals of CMOS, and unless you're some kind of expert or have like a, you know, lab at your disposal, they're not very easy to identify. But you don't need to worry about all that, because there are only two varietals of CMOS you need to worry about. Genus Gracilaria, which composes about 80% of the CMOS market, and Chondrus crispus, otherwise known as Irish CMOS. The problem is there's lots of confusion out there on the market with lots of brands calling themselves Irish CMOS when they really aren't. I mean, there's even a varietal called Jamaican Purple CMOS or Jamaican Irish CMOS, but it ain't Irish. It's a Gracilaria. Chondrus crispus is called Irish sea moss because it was widely used as a food source during the Irish potato famine. Chondrus crispus just keeps making me think of that big speech in Shakespeare's Henry V. And Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world! So you're clear, sea moss is just another type of algae under the umbrella of seaweed. But really, at the end of the day, there isn't much difference in the benefits between the two main types of sea moss. How do you actually use sea moss? I bet a lot of people hear sea moss out there and think, oh, it's probably kind of gross and icky, all slimy and salty. Ooh, gross. Well, if you want to try and eat it straight from the sea, yeah. But if you want it as part of your diet, there's a much better way to do it. Most often, sea moss is boiled down into a gel, but you can also find it in powdered, flake, or pill form. However, be sure to read the fine print on your dehydrated products, as there is a higher possibility you might just be purchasing an inferior or fake product. Sea moss nutrients. One of the biggest selling points of sea moss is that it has a huge number of trace minerals that the body has a hard time finding from other sources. Irish sea moss in particular is touted as having as many as 92 of the 102 minerals the body requires to keep rocking. And just one teaspoon of Irish sea moss powder can give you as much magnesium as 50 grams of raw spinach. Sea moss is also rich in vitamins like A, B12, E, and C, plus contains omega-3 fatty acids and more. It even has twice the potassium of an average banana. Wow, so this is some pretty well-rounded stuff. I guess that's why it helped the Irish get through the potato famine. What is the deal with carrageenan? One thing that Irish sea moss has that Gracilaria doesn't is carrageenan. In fact, Irish sea moss is often called carrageen by the Irish, possibly because it's named after Carrigan Head in County Donegal, which is one of the areas where Chondrus crispus can be found. Now, carrageenan has gotten a bit of a bad rap because it has been known to cause inflammation which can lead to things like irritable bowel syndrome and arthritis. But the thing to really note here is that in its natural form, Irish sea moss doesn't really cause these problems. It's only when carrageenan is in a processed form. On the plus side, carrageenan has been used since the 1800s as a thickening agent for popular foods like ice cream, milk, cottage cheese, pudding, and even baby formula. CMOS health benefits. I'm just gonna throw this out there so we're all clear. CMOS hasn't had a lot of research done on it yet, but science is often very slow to catch up to all the anecdotal evidence we have on things like CMOS. And luckily, we got lots of anecdotal evidence. So you know what? Let's do this. Immune system benefits. Irish CMOS has been used to treat a variety of respiratory problems like sore throat, chest coughs, bronchitis, pneumonia, and flu. There's even a cough syrup called Irish moss. All oh, you crafty Irish keeping all the good sea moss for yourselves. I see out his sea moss hoarders. As it's an expectorant, antiviral, and antibacterial, sea moss certainly has the qualities that are good for helping with colds and coughs. Early studies also indicate that sea moss is great for your immune system. There's even one study showing how sea moss can stop the growth of S. enteritidis, the nasty bacteria that causes salmonella in humans. Digestive benefits. A 2015 study showed that sea moss works as a probiotic, providing better overall health for your stomach. But it doesn't stop there. As a demulcent, it's also helpful for soothing your digestive tract. Sea moss's gelatinous consistency is also helpful for a large number of problems like gastritis, leaky gut, dyspepsia, nausea, 
heartburn, and indigestion. Its mineral and fiber content are also helpful for constipation, diarrhea, and generally keeping things moving along your GI tract so your bowel movements are nice and easy. Though at the same time it may get things moving so well that it may make you feel like, well, you're gonna crap your pants. There really isn't a good way to say it without evoking some kind of gross imagery. Sorry, had to be done. Thyroid benefits. CMOS is rich in iodine, and iodine comes from Australia, as everybody knows. No, wait, that's the Princess Bride. Because iodine comes from Australia, as everyone knows. And Australia is entirely peopled with criminals. And several iodine-related thyroid hormones help regulate your metabolism, encourage bone and brain development from pregnancy to infancy, and also helps with many other important bodily functions as well. The gelling properties of sea moss are especially good for things like skin care lotions and creams. Sea moss is also apparently great for a variety of skin conditions like sunburn, eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis. But the best way to use it for this purpose is apparently by taking an Irish sea moss bath. Just add a generous heaping of Irish sea moss gel to your bath water with maybe a few drops of your favorite essential oils and of course some sudsy bubbles and rubber duck. The rubber duck is not optional. Energy and weight loss benefits. The fiber and mineral content of sea moss are both helpful for curbing your appetite. This is thanks to the substance called fucoxanthin. Why can't they just come up with easy names? Well, studies have shown that fucoxy, yeah, that's what I'm calling it, is a natural fat burner to help you keep slim and healthy. In addition to this, sea moss's properties are supposedly great at improving your energy levels and can even help to promote muscle growth especially if you're wanting to look like a super duper Marvel movie stud. Other health benefits. Sea moss is also believed to help with things like helping you sleep better, balancing blood sugar, reducing problems with foggy brain. Uh, I definitely know how that goes. Promoting fertility. And it can even help with diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. And current research is saying that sea moss can also help lower bad cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart disease. Side effects. Okay, okay, this all-powerful superfood has to have some kind of downside, right? Well, yeah, but it's not as bad as you think. While there is a risk of iodine toxicity, it's really rather rare and pretty hard to do. Basically, to reach the recommended upper intake level for iodine, you'd have to consume about 286 grams, or two-thirds of a pound of raw sea moss in one day. Is it weird that I kind of want to try it now? But seriously, don't. That'd be poisoning yourself. And in a really weird way. And other than iodine poisoning, the only other minor risk is getting heavy metal poisoning, as some seaweeds have been known to absorb and store heavy metals in high amounts. That said, if you buy a proper powder or prepare it correctly, it's not going to have the heavy metals in it anymore anyways. Have you already tried sea moss? I already have it. I think it works pretty good. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you do like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button, share it with your friends. Every little bit helps the YouTube algorithm and my little channel. Thank you. If you want to learn some more great benefits of herbs, then watch either one of these great videos right here. Please be kind, take care of each other, and go enjoy some sea moss for yourself. Kim Kardashian says so.